Well, had me an argument with Shannon Alvarado tonight. She doesn't like the things I say in my videos. Well, you know, by the time I make those videos, I'm so frustrated with trying to get her to take the time to listen to me that it really doesn't matter. Those videos are getting made. I'm not allowed to speak. That's why I make those videos. What I have to say doesn't matter. That's why I make those videos. So Shannon, instead of calling me and talking to me, she does this little voice thing where she, she can do this on her phone and I can't, where she can send me words and, you know, it's recorded audio and I can hear her voice, which is fine, but I can't do that. I have to text. For most of these people, they don't understand how damaging that is to me. And although I'm expected to let everything go immediately and be happy-go-lucky no matter what, these people hold grudges for fucking ever. Like, I have to deal with Rick's opinion and Rick being an asshole every time I talk to Shannon. She was like, oh, well, you know, everything was fine and dandy when you got here because I made you a sandwich. No, Shannon, it wasn't fine and dandy because I'm not allowed to speak. I'm not allowed to have emotions. When you do something that harms me or hurts me, you don't care. I'm not allowed to say it. You talk over me and treat me like shit. And it doesn't matter to you. So I show you by doing it back. You fucking don't like it, do you? Like literally the only way to get heard by Shannon Alvarado is to speak over her and hope she shuts the fuck up because she's going to speak over you no matter what. What you have to say does not matter. And that's the thing. People may have their hearts in the right places, but their ears are up their ass. You can't help someone if you're too busy arguing. You can't help someone if you're not able to listen. If I'm telling you about something and you start telling me and comparing with your ex-husband or comparing with Marnie or comparing with all these other people, you're not listening to what I'm saying. There is a lot to cover because a lot has happened. But then when I finally get to speak just a little bit, it's I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I know you thought a lot of shit, Shannon. That's why texting is not an effective form of communicating. I'm glad you were sober last time I was there. I mean, you had that left eye dangly thing, let me know you were slipping something, but it didn't matter. I'm sure you were nice to me. Rick was decently nice. But you accused me of uh, not saying any of the good things that you did for me. No, I do. I do say the good things that you did for me. But the word that you made, the word that you gave, you did not keep. And that's the important part. I went there because your word, the word that you gave me. That situation that I was in in Wyoming, it was fucked. The situation at my dad's was fucked. But you're not understanding that if I'm suffering from sensory overload, all right, and I'm going through a lot of emotional bullshit from people screaming and yelling and hitting me. Yeah, listening to you scream at somebody. That's not helpful. And sure, it didn't happen the last time I was up there, but the last time I was up there, I tried to speak to you. I gotta deal with Rick. He's either doing the silent treatment, slamming shit, or what else? Muttering under his breath. When I tried to talk to you on multiple occasions, he fucking pretended he was you, by your own admission. He pretended he was you and was a piece of shit to me. And you don't like the stuff that I type back after that? Well, you know what? I'm not allowed to have emotions. The things that you did that affected my life so greatly, I'm not allowed to be hurt over those things. I'm not allowed to be hurt over the things that you say to me. I'm not allowed to tell you that those things hurt me. And then you get pissed off because I make a video. You should have tried listening. But I'm the autistic retard, right?
every time you bring up all these other people and I'm trying to tell you what's going on and how things made me feel, you are invalidating what it is that I'm saying by making these other people more important, by making what you want to say more important, and by showing that instead of listening to understand, you are listening to reply. You've already got 10 replies in your head by the time I finish a sentence. Obviously, you're not hearing what I said. You're listening to reply. I needed a professional to help me. But I needed someone to care enough to look at the stuff that I had to show. I mean, I was at your house for two months, Shannon. And in that two months, you could have taken the time. But always, there's all of these other things that are important. Now, yes, you keep on going back to your daughter. Yes, your daughter is important. Your son is important. But all of your other extracurriculars that I had to listen to the whole time I was there. And any time anybody stood up to you, you treat them like shit. Rick, when he stood up to you, you treated him like shit. And you kicked him out. And did he leave? Of course not. You probably kicked him out 200 times while I was there. I don't mention these things to be an asshole to you. I mention these things because they harmed me. Those things hurt me. But I'm not allowed to have emotions. I'm not allowed to respond the way that you do. I'm not allowed to be angry. Meanwhile, I gotta deal with Rick manipulating all sorts of fucked up shit when really, you and I could talk. Instead of this fucked up bullshit that you did while I was on the bus, do you have any understanding of how badly that hurt me? You're a this and you're a that, being accused of all sorts of fucking shit. Yeah, you're not excused just because you gave me a fucking sandwich. You didn't keep your word, Shannon. And yeah, I'm gonna speak out about that. You got an issue with it, that's not my fucking problem. You already showed me that you don't fucking care. I have to take verbal abuse from Rick, if not directly on the phone, in the background, or in texting, or in messaging. Instead of you taking the time to understand how I feel, to even pretend that I have emotions. People keep talking about burning all my bridges. No, they're not bridges. They've already been burned. Fact is, if you can't listen the way that I listen, you can't help me. I was able to help a lot of people because I listened. It didn't take me a year to try to help find people that were missing. It didn't take me a year to try to make a, well actually it's taken over two years for me just to make a police report about the assaults against me by the officers in January of 2018. Without somebody to go in with me, that is the most important part. People in person who care. But if you're busy making suggestions instead of listening, you don't know what the fuck's going on. You have no fucking right to make fucking suggestions. None. But all these people think making the same suggestions over and over again after I've already explained to them why they're not working. But they want to make them over and over and over again. You damn right I'm going to speak out. I needed help. I needed a safe environment. And if you're screaming at other people, no, it's not a safe environment for me. If I have to worry about speaking up and defending myself against you because I'll end up homeless with all of that evidence, which is exactly what happened, then yeah, no, you're not trying to help me. You know that I'm in a subservient position and you don't have to listen to me so you can pretend you were trying to help. But did you help how I asked? Did you listen? Or did you make it story time? Because if you're making it story time, you're not able to help me because you're not listening to what I have to say. You're trying to compare me with others. I'm not in those others' shoes, those others' positions. And I listen to your position, do you listen to mine? No, you don't. Of course I'm gonna fucking speak out, stupid. 
And yes, I am gonna call you stupid. I have taken enough verbal abuse from you. Yes, I have every right to give it back. I have taken so much verbal abuse out of you and Rick. Yes, I'm going to give it back. I would rather tell you how those things made me feel than be verbally abusive back. I would. When you guys were being verbally abusive every night, every night you said, well, I'll help you tonight. I'll help you as soon as Annie goes to bed. But then you would be screaming and shouting. And then when Zanny comes out because you guys are screaming and shouting, it's lights off. Then you're quiet. You're not quiet until you've already done the damage. But you don't see how that affects your daughter. All you see is that you're getting bit and you're having your hair pulled. I get that. I get that. That's the thing, Shannon. Since the very first time I talked to you, what I had to say wasn't important, and it was that way with nearly everyone. There's a few people that listen, but they don't have time, they don't have money. They don't have the resources that you take for granted every single day, Shannon. I spent my life saving lives, making sure that things that happened to me didn't happen to others, and they still happen to others, but at least I spoke out. 